Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 723. Can you believe we're like almost a quarter of the way to 800 already? I feel like it was just yesterday we were celebrating 700. Anyway, happy Thursday, everybody. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Hi, Nadine and Joe. Good morning. If you end up watching the recorded version, please also feel welcome to say hello. Uh, thank you, Joe. I will be talking about my hair. I'm super excited about it. Hi, Linda and Lisa and Angela. Good morning. Hi, Grace and Judy, Rita, Donna. I finally found a tool to give me beachy waves. I know I've talked before that I'm not very good at blow drying a blowout, a proper blowout, and I'm not very good at doing fancy curls with curling irons or flat irons. And I found a tool that is foolproof for me and I'll talk about it in a few minutes. Hi, Rachel and Joyce, Wendy, Carrie, Mo Melanie, Kat, Angela, Christine, Kiranjeet, Sandra, Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 723. I'm Kristen Amdahl, and we are here live in Southwest Florida. Thank you, Donna. I'm super excited about my beachy waves this morning. We'll see how long they last, but uh, they should. Anyways, I can't believe how much fuller my hair looks with the beachy waves, too. So I guess we'll just dive right into that since uh, people are asking. So I found this curling iron that literally has three curling irons attached to it. It's a three barrel curling iron. So it makes your hair go around all three of them. Like it opens like a curling iron, but instead of just having one barrel, it has three barrels. So when it opens up, you have the ability to clamp your hair in a wave fashion. So I take one piece and I clamp it through here and then I, and hold it for 10 seconds and I clamp it down here and then it gets that full wave throughout the whole piece. Uh, and so I just did in little bits as I went, put a little bit of uh, mousse in before I dried my hair and then I put a little bit of salt, sea salt texture spray afterwards. Uh, thank you, Judy. Judy's posting a link to the three barrel curling iron that I found. I found it on Amazon. It was 30 bucks and I figured for 30 bucks, I've got to try it because you know how much I love beachy waves and you know how bad I am at styling my hair with stuff like this. So very excited about it. I didn't hold uh, the curling iron on very long and I didn't turn it on very hot because I wanted to start low and if I need more, I will. But so far so good and I didn't touch my bangs because I figured with a sweet bang it might be better to just leave those alone but if anybody's interested in giving it a try uh, Judy's posted a link to the three barrel curling iron that I found on Amazon and it took me about 10 minutes to do also I know if you're doing like the fancy curls like with the flat iron or the curling iron or the curling wand they take a long time to do uh, but you know it I don't like to spend a lot of time on things I move really quickly and I'm not very good at styling hair so especially in the back of my head so for me this was kind of foolproof so if this is something you think you might be interested in or somebody you know might like Judy's posted the link and thank you Judy I appreciate it very much Ah, Carrie has one already. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Hello to anybody else that I've missed your names. I know once I start talking, it's hard to keep up with the names. Hi, Moose Gal. Good morning. Do you have Moose where you live? Is that why you have that name? Hi, Lizzie. Good morning. Ah, Judy's posting a link to what I'm wearing today, too. I am wearing, you know, my favorite tank top Amazon dress, the Fit and Flare one in the cheetah print and I paired it over a very simple long sleeve uh, stretchy t-shirt material cardigan that I uh, found on Amazon too and when I wear it with the fit and flare dress I particularly like tying it in the front you can wear it long and low if you wanted to but um, I feel like it looks way more put together when I layer it high and low like this I even like how when I tie it here it gives an angle see how there's a diagonal line from where I tie it to where it sits in the back I feel like that diagonal line also gives me a little bit of you know an optical illusion of looking maybe slimmer or slimmer or um, whatever than I really am <laughs> I feel like it hides stuff anytime I can feel like I look a little more put together than I feel um, it's a good day oh I almost caught a kitty 
that's a catfishing, but a different version of catfishing. We like this kind of catfishing. We don't like the other kind of catfishing. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Wendy. I love this cheetah print too. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Judy. Thanks, Liz Lizzie. Yeah, I think it's very slimming wearing it this way too. Hi, Anna. Good morning. All right, I have a bunch of little things to show you this morning. I'm not gonna dive deep into anything, like we'll do tutorials on the things I'm going to show you, but I wanted to give you a quick heads up because there have been questions in the comments in previous videos. So even though I'm not prepared to do a wet demo out here this morning, I did want to talk about some things. I do want to start doing at least once a week some sort of cleaning and blocking and some sort of tutorial with Be So Clean Soap. But in the meantime, I, I believe it was Cherie earlier this week that asked if Be So Clean could be used to make foaming hand soap. And the short answer is yes. And it's a really cool technique if you've never seen this before. So I found some, what you need to find are some containers that have the type of pump on them that are for making a soap, turning a soap into foaming hand soap. And this is if you want it to foam, right? Um, the soap doesn't foam on its own, but if you want it to foam for a foaming hand soap, you just need to find some containers. I found these as a two pack on Amazon. And so and this is the cool thing. It makes it very economical for making your own foaming hand soap, a lot cheaper than buying foaming hand soap. You need one part soap to five parts of warm water and you need to leave some room for air up here. So I did this one last night. So this is practically full. So I eyeballed one to five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you figure out, you want to have air up there. So you wanna make sure that you figure out what six spots would be on here. And so you put the soap in first I put the soap in first. I suppose you could put the water in first too, but I wanted to put the soap in first so that it would mix up as it was going. And um, then you pour very slowly, you pour the soap in there. Now, if it bubbles as you're doing it, that's okay because you want an air pocket up here. So as it's bubbling, as you're putting it in, that's fine. We only wanted to put the water so far anyway. And I don't have a towel out here to wipe my hands, but I wanna show you. So this is just plain soap with water in a foaming uh, canister. And watch this, I'll have to. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. It comes out foaming. So not only does it come out foaming, but it's so highly concentrated that you don't need much soap to make a foaming container. And think about it, when you go to the store and you buy foaming hand soap, you pay the same price for foaming hand soap that you pay for regular soap. And this and this way, you're only using, you're using so much less soap to do it uh, by making your own that it ends up being a lot more economical. Plus you're using a reusable container. These containers are glass and I can reuse them as long as I want. So I feel like not only is this a fun DIY project to do, but it ends up being a really economical way to have foaming hand soap at the sink for when you wanna wash your hands. I need to go grab a towel. I'll be right back. I didn't think to bring out water and towel to show you that. also wanted to mention that we've talked about it before, but Be So Clean soap is super, super highly concentrated. You don't need a lot when you're washing a handmade garment in the sink. You only need a half a teaspoon for this, for like a gallon of water or the size of a sink. So you only need a little squirt. Um, if you're, if you're, 
not feeling confident about the amount for a little squirt, go grab some measuring spoons, measure out half a teaspoon so you can eyeball it. And then after that, you'll see that it is just a little squirt. You don't need much. And so when you're gonna wash something by hand, you just need a little squirt of the soap in the sink of water or in a large bowl. Sometimes I do a bowl instead. And hand wash, let it sit for about 15 minutes, then remove it or move it around so that because what happens is the soap loosens up the dirt and oil from the fiber and so then you want to rinse the soap and the dirt and oil off the garment uh, so you get in some fresh water rinse it in there real quick and then uh, squeeze out the extra water and leave it flat to dry i wasn't prepared to do like physical demos of either of these techniques this morning but when I have the t when I make the time, I'll actually show you the demo of making the foaming hand soap, and we'll do lots and lots of demos of not only washing and blocking our hand knit and crochet pieces, but lots of other really cool, um, really economical ways to use the soap for cleaning all sorts of things. Uh, that's great, Beth. Thank you. Beth bought different fragrances for Christmas presents. I'm glad to hear that. Wonderful. Yeah, get people to try it, and if they like it, they can buy more. That's wonderful. Does anybody have any questions about what I talked about so far? Like, yeah, so these uh, demos I'll probably do in the kitchen or maybe do outside with a table, with a folding table and some water. I just, I wasn't prepared to do it all here this morning, but since I've been getting questions, I wanted to answer the questions as I, uh, as quickly as they, I can and as efficiently as I can. So, yes, they would make great Christmas presents. This, the two ounce bottle would be fantastic for uh, putting in with the, any handmade gift too. So anytime you're giving a handmade gift, it would be really wonderful to include a bottle of the soap with a handmade gift too. So if you're doing, um, if you're giving someone a handmade shawl or a handmade hat or a handmade sweater, anything, um, I think it'd be a really nice touch to include a bottle of soap with it too. Maybe maybe teach them how to wash things by hand. It's so much easier than they may realize. Oh, also you can, um, by giving someone a laundry bag is a great idea too. Laundry bag and a bottle of soap is a great gift to tag along with anything handmade that you're giving as a gift. I can't get over my curls. <laughs> I love beachy waves. This is so much more modern than when I try to curl my hair with hot rollers. I know that's so dated and old fashioned. This is way more modern. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Good morning. Hi, Shell Bell. Hi, uh, Am Amariotis Crochet World. Good morning. Hi, Cindy. Lisa loves her laundry bag. I'm so glad. Hi, Bonnie. Good morning. Oh, I have something else to show you, too. I have several things to show you this morning. And like I said, today's not going to be about doing anything in depth. We're just going to show some quick sneak peeks of things that I will talk more in depth about on future days. But I wanted to give you an update on how much I've gotten done on my crochet cowl. Look at this. I'm almost done now. I'm approaching 30 inches. And like I said the other day, uh, I'm going for 40 inches on both of the cowls, Mobius cowls. So we finished the knit cowl this one is called nova and not only can you download the pattern for this one now but you can also watch the supplemental tutorial video which i released yesterday here on youtube so this is the nova knit cowl done in two balls of be so sporty bling yarn this is colorway peach shirt you can throw it on real quick it Based on the, the size that I made, it can be worn in lots of different ways. So this is wearing it long and narrow, right? Love how a Mobius cowl does that fold in the front. It makes it lie very flat. So you can wear it like that. You can double it up and wear it more as a voluminous cowl like this, which is really warm and cozy if it's cold outside or if it's cold inside or if you just need a little extra comfort. I think it's very comforting wearing something around your neck. And then the third way that you can wear it is down over your shoulders, more like a capelet. Let's see if I can find the twist. There we go. So if you wear it down over your shoulders, 
it ends up looking more like a little capelet. Isn't that so cute? So, so many different ways you can wear a Mobius cowl if it's the right size. If you don't make it big enough, you don't have all of these options. And that's fine. If you want something that just sits up here, that's fine. But when you make them a little longer like this, like the 40 inch length before uh, turning it into a tube, you have so many other options so that you can style things in a variety of ways. And you know, I love being able to style something in a number of ways. Anytime you have, you can style something in a number of ways, you can wear it more often than you would. I feel like you're limited when you can only wear something one specific way and that's fine, but I just, more is better in this case. More is not always better, but in this case, more is better. <laughs> Thanks for posting the link, Judy. So you can download that pattern at the links that Judy has been sharing for $1.99. And then she's now just shared the link for uh, watching the supplemental tutorial video, which is here on my YouTube channel. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you. So having said that, now let's get back to the crochet one. You can see that the texture is extremely similar. We really did um, uh, 40 inches after blocking, Wendy. The finished size needs to be 40 inches. So here's the crochet one. We're almost to 30 inches. I think I'm at 26 inches right now. Uh, and so we've got a few more repeats to do, but we're definitely in the home stretch now. And so as I make time to finish it, I will then be able to do a tutorial video finish up the pattern and chart, do the photography, edit that, and hopefully the pattern will be available soon. Oh, um, yes, and this is a one ball project in Be So Toasty yarn, which is my number one fingering weight, uh, superwash merino wool and bamboo yarn blended together. Super warm and cozy. Yeah, so that one will be available. Uh, I don't know what day. I've got a lot coming up for tomorrow. Um, in fact, I'm debating giving you a sneak peek about what I want to show tomorrow. I don't know if it'll ruin it for tomorrow <laughs> or not, but uh, all the pieces to share the full initiative of the new charity initiative for Project Kristen Cares is not quite here, but I really want to show you the first piece. Hmm. Now, oh, let's wait and see if there's any uh, questions first. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention colors. So the sport, uh, the knit uh, cowl, the Nova cowl is Be So Sporty Gold Bling Yarn in color, peach sherbet, two balls. And the crochet cowl is going to be called the Vega Crochet Mobius Cowl. And it's a one ball project in Be So Toasty Yarn. And this is hand dyed colorway cactus flower. All right, so I guess we should probably just do a quick sneak peek on the comp one of the components for the new charity initiative. And I, I, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, I have thought so long and hard about how to do this. Like, you know, the catalyst was rapture going away, right? And thinking, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to replace the charity initiative with that going away? And originally I tried to get um, soap made in little pods like the Rapture pods and that was so incredibly expensive and I was going to have to order, I was going to have to take out a loan, a big loan, and and buy enough of them and keep them and store them in the garage because I had to buy so many thousands and thousands of them. I feel like, I think it was like 50,000. It was a crazy number. And so it was very scary. And you know, when, when you're not sure about what to do, you need to back burner it, right? So I back burnered that and I was like, well, maybe that's not the right idea. What could I do if, if the sky was the limit and I'm really going to invest that much money or do something such on a grand scale, what would I really want to do? And I started thinking, well, I would want to get different big companies to sponsor a bunch of items to really make a care package for people that are in uh, a challenging situation. So originally my focus was on what could I gift somebody who is in a domestic violence women's shelter? What could I gift this person to really give them a boost, uh, you know, give them a, 
some sort of a boost or a hug or some sort of encouragement that don't give up, never give up. Life's going to get better. You just have to get through this and it's going to get better. So I thought, well, it would require more than just a pod of soap to do that. And if I'm going to do soap, soap could be, soap is soap. It doesn't have to be something that's just limited to um, washing your handmade items. So I did a lot of research on soap in general, and that's why I moved away from a wool wash with lanolin and went with, and I thought, well, if I'm gonna do soap, what would I want to have soap? I want it to be organic. I want it to be chemical free. I want it to be the purest, most natural soap known to mankind. And that's why I went in the direction I did for Be So Clean Soap. And then from there, I know this seems long, but I want to tell you the whole journey because there was so much thought and emotion that went into this because I really wanted, I really wanted to do something meaningful for people who are, I remember, I remember how many times I've been in rough situations where I either didn't have a home or had struggled or had scary situations. And I thought, I really wanted to think long and hard, what would really help someone in a situation? And I thought one single pot of rapture isn't going to do that. So not that it isn't helpful to be able to wash your hands in the sink or wash your clothes in the sink, but I thought, what about a little bottle of soap that's good to wash anything? And I thought to myself, how many times have I been in a desperate situation where you just need to get cleaned up and feel like uh, respectable, right? So I thought about the fact that not only could a little ball, a little bottle of pure, natural, all-purpose soap be great for using a couple drops of it to wash your clothes in the sink. I can't tell you how many times I've had to wash my clothes in a sink because I didn't have a place to wash or whatever. But what about having the ability to give yourself a bath in a sink too? Now, if any of you have never had to do that before, God bless you, that's wonderful. But sometimes people get involved in danger crazy situations where you're either sleeping on someone's couch or you're sleeping in your car or you're in between places or you're driving 50 hours or 100 hours to get somewhere uh, um, to get somewhere safe and what do you do then when you need to take a bath well if you had it you could get cleaned up in a public bathroom with a washcloth and some soap couldn't you well, so that went on the list of things to put in a go bag for people. And <laughs> I'm gonna, come here, I need a hug. So then I thought, that's amazing. Yes, I want to do a washcloth, a hand towel, preferably things that would dry very quickly because it would be for someone who needed to get cleaned up in a small space like a public bathroom. Uh, same place that you would be washing your clothes if you had to. And I thought, well, what else, if I'm going to do a go bag that includes items like that, what else could we put in there to really give someone a pick-me-up? And so <laughs> took me seven months <laughs> to get it all together, come up with all the ideas. Right, baby Bjorn? We did it, though, didn't we? We worked hard and we thought about what would be meaningful and what would be thoughtful and what would just really be something for anybody in a challenging situation. And to take it even a step further, I really wanted it to be unisex because first of all, the statistics for domestic violence, obviously within the heterosexual um, community, it is more prominent for women than it is for men to be abused by a domestic partner. But when you go into the LBGT community, it is much higher statistics for men to get abused in relationships as well. So I really wanted this, and men do not have domestic violence shelters to go to. And then I thought to myself, well, this could help for someone who's homeless then too. Or what if you just know someone who needs a pick-me-up? And then I thought, well, geez, it's also good for someone who's traveling because if you're on the go, you can be on the go not by choice or you could be on the go by choice. So it ends up being a wonderful package 
for anybody in uh, on the go. So here's, so let's back up again. So back to the charity. So I thought to myself, I want to put together a care package for people in challenging times to give them a hug with a meaningful, thoughtful bag of goodies. And so originally I thought, well, maybe I could get large companies to sponsor it. And I thought, wait a second, what if I try to put it all together? So I ended up putting it all together with my own brand of products and then to take it a step further. So as you know, Project Kristen Cares takes a portion of all proceeds from all the sales of my products and we use that money to donate to domestic violence shelters. So what I'm doing now is every time you shop with me, a portion of the sales are used to be able to ship the Be So Helpful bags to um, shelters around the country. But to take it a step further, what I wanted to do, what I thought would also be wonderful, is if I sold these so that you could donate them anywhere you see fit. And when I show you everything in the bag, you'll see that you could not only donate them as you see fit, but you could gift them as you see fit for anybody who just needs a pick-me-up. You're gonna love everything in this bag. So before I finished, I just wanna finish explaining it before I show you everything in the bag. So. On top of that, when you buy the bag, the all 100% of the proceeds are donated to Project Kristen Cares so that I can ship more bags. So I can buy more bags and more products and ship more bags. So, and then also I made the actual bag that you get inside the package large enough so that you, if you're donating this, you can add a handmade item a prayer shawl, a hat, a baby blanket, whatever, you can add a handmade item to the bag. So, cause that was the other component of this whole process is I wanted to make it a way that you could interact with me and we can do things on a larger scale. So when you buy the bags, you can make any sort of a charity product, put it in the bag and then send it off anywhere you want to a friend, to someone in need, to someone, who's in minorly in need to someone majorly in need this would be a good care package for someone going into the hospital it would be a good care package for someone going into rehab so without further ado <laughs> let's go through the be so helpful bag uh, you can buy it at the link judy just posted for 19.99 which is below the price of the items in the bag so it's a good deal as well and just remember that everything uh, the uh, the proceeds of your purchase of the bag help me to ship out more to um, other people okay so inside the bag there's a little note that gets sent along to everybody who gets the bag so that they know uh, the reason and why they're getting the bag so then next there is one of these cute little bags you see here it has a carabiner clip on it and it's folded in a pouch so when it's unfolded, these make great grocery bags or great any kind of a bag, but it's very large. So everything that I'm gonna show you that's in the kit, but also uh, can fold back up and be stored very neatly in between uses. So you get this large bag and then you get a 20 ounce water bottle in the bag. Here's the other thing, when someone's in a challenging situation, and let's say you don't have access to a fridge or you don't have access to keeping things economically in, in a home, you also can't afford to go buy $2 bottles of water all day long at 7-Eleven. So I thought it was really important to have a water bottle so that you could fill it up when you can and have fresh water to drink throughout the day. So we'll put the water bottle inside the bag. Then we have a nail file. Who doesn't need a nail file? Every person needs a nail file. And when you're in a challenging situation, you should have all the creature comforts that you would have at home. So everybody could use a nail file. So there's nail file in there. Everybody can use lip balm. <laughs> so there's a tube of lip balm in here. I don't know about you, but lip balm. Without lip balm, I can go crazy sometimes. And this is a very neutral, mild vanilla scent. So again, totally unisex. There's no wild flavors in here. It's just a comforting mild vanilla. 
Then we have a two ounce bottle of unscented Be So Clean soap. I chose to use the unscented in here because I want it to be universally safe for everybody. So regardless of anybody's allergies, in the ingredients are listed on here if for some reason the soap itself would be an allergen. But for the most part, without scents of any kind, including essential oils, it becomes the most universal soap to gift. So a two ounce bottle of Be So Clean soap with 100% bamboo, and they're tied in this cute little bow, 100% bamboo washcloth and hand towel. Now I have to tell you, these are thin, but incredibly soft. And the reason why I went with bamboo instead of cotton is because it dries faster. If you are in a challenging situation and you need to get washed on the go, you also need your stuff to dry quickly. So we've got a lovely hand towel, which you could probably wrap your hair in as well, and a washcloth for washing yourself in a sink if necessary. So that with the soap. Then last but not least, we have a Create Share Inspire notebook that's included in the bag along with a pen because I don't know about you, but if I need to get my thoughts in order, I need to get them on paper. So if you're not familiar with my Create Share Inspire notebooks, these are notebooks where you can write on one side and every day in there also includes an inspirational quote just to give you a little boost. And so you get the Create Share Inspire notebook and the pen. And so all of those items combined, I feel would be such a supportive hug for someone in a challenging time. And so it is the Be So Helpful bags that we are now going to be donating for Project Kristen Cares. We're going to start with women's shelters all over the country and we could always, and if that's not where your passion is at, share them with homeless shelters, share them with anybody in a time of need. And look at, there's still plenty of room in there if you wanted to add a prayer shawl or a hat or a family's worth of hats. So the reason why I was hesitant to share this with you today is because there's a two-part prong to the, uh, to the Project Kristen Cares brand new initiative, and that is the new book. The new book coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll be available as an ebook and as a pre-order for the paperback, and that's going to be the Be So Caring book. And what's in there is gifts for people that you already know and love and for those friends that you haven't yet met. Meaning, all the projects in there are universal for people through from babies through adult men and women to give as charity, as prayer packages, or as gifts for your loved ones. So all of that will be available tomorrow and that will be the second prong of this. Now, not only are the sales the proceeds from the sales of the Be So Helpful bags, 100% donated to Project Kristen Cares, but same with the book and ebook. 100% of the proceeds of the book and ebook will be donated to Project Kristen Cares as well in order to be able to um, make more bags and give more and donate more bags. So that's what I've been saving up and uh, keeping secret for all this time. So I hope I was able to shed some light on it for you. Uh, yeah, the book will be available. I'll be able to share the book with you tomorrow. Um, and yeah, the Be So Helpful bags I'm able to share with you today. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, someone's asking about the PKC logo. So the PKC logo is actually originally designed based on the heart necklace that I wear that Marlon gave me for Mother's Day uh, many, many years ago. And so the, the whole story behind the PKC, Project Kristen Cares logo, is that the Kristen Amdahl brand is picking up and supporting other people in their challenging times of need. So as you can see, this bigger, stronger heart is picking up this heart and helping it get back up on its feet. So that's the whole like story behind the, and it's at the same angle as it's, it's reversed from here. But as you can see, it's, it's just the mirror angle of the heart down there. Yeah, it was hard to keep a secret like this, absolutely. So I'll wait and see if there's any questions. 
Yeah, a lot. so as you can see, I know it was a long-winded story and I probably forgot parts of it, <laughs> but as you can see, there was a lot of thought put into this and just really important to me that, you know, someone could get a, you know, a virtual hug from getting a package like that. Very thoughtful. Everything in that bag is very meaningful. I think if they are things that someone could really use in a challenging time. And like I said, that, that applies to people on the go too. So if whether you're on the go by choice or not by choice, so it makes great, it makes a great travel bag too. All of those things would be wonderful if you were traveling. So if you're traveling, it's a great gift. If you're going somewhere, it's a great gift to give anybody and it's unisex. This is great to give a man or a woman. Let me see if there's any questions. Don't think I see a lot of excitement. I think uh, I'm glad to see everybody's happy with the choices that I made for the new uh, charity initiative for Project Kristen Cares. Hi, Kelsa from Honduras. Good morning. And Judy's posted links to everything. Looks like my curls are gonna stay, maybe. Yeah, they're staying a little bit. Could probably just use to pull up the front. That might be a, it, especially if you add a handmade gift inside the bag, I think it really makes a special gift. Absolutely. Make, add a, add a special card in it. You could add your own note. Although the bag does come with this note from me, you could add your own note if you're donating the bag or if you're gifting the bag too. Thank you, Nanette. It means a lot to me for you to realize that it was thoughtful. I spent, um, Ellen, I've added everything I'm going to add, but here's the thing. If you're buying the bag to gift it, you can add anything else you want to add to it. So if you want to add fingernail clippers, that's a great idea. And you can absolutely add that. So um, there are so there are tons of things that people in shelters need. They need, you know, they need cell phones, they need phone cards, they need bras, they need panties, they need socks. So anytime you want to um, add extra things to the bag, bag, you absolutely could. Did I finish the cardigan with uh, single crochet stripes? I think you're talking about the double treble crochet and single crochet cardigan called the Selma cardigan, and yes, I did. That is a uh, single PDF pattern download in my crochet pattern shop on my website. You can find it there. Great questions, everybody. And we'll I'll wait a few seconds to see if there's any more questions. Oh, we've got naughty kitties up here. They're fighting up on the table. <laughs> there, Judy's posting a link for it right now. So if you want an instant link, Judy's posted a link to where you can find the Selma crochet cardigan right now in the live. <laughs> there's instant karma kitties. They were trying to fight on the counter and the wind knocked something down and scared them. That's what you get for fighting. All right, uh, all right, I'm gonna focus. See, I'll give like 30 more seconds to see if there's any more questions. I know we went over today, but I had a long-winded story to tell. What are you gonna do? Thanks for posting the links, Judy, I appreciate it. You can see everything that's in the bag and it's all listed on the Be So Helpful bag page so you can get a lot more information there. There's also more information on the Project Kristen Cares page on my website. That's uh, kristenomdahl.com slash pkc or the Be So Helpful page. All right, well, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed all the show and tell, the stories, the inspiration behind the new uh, charity initiative for Project Kristen Cares, the Be So Helpful bags. If you have any other questions about anything I've talked about today, please feel welcome to come back and leave them for me in the comments, or you can email Judy at customer service after the show at judi at kristenomdahl.com. And if you would like to share the bag with anybody else, you can always follow that link to the Be So Helpful page and you can share it on any social media platform or you can share it with any of your friends. I know the more we can do to get the word out there, the more people we can help. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place.